For this part of the exercise, we'll be implementing the assignment remote service. Here's the objectives for this exercise. We'll be declaring dependencies and then implementing the facade methods for the local service in assignment service info. Here's the exercise steps that we'll be taking. We'll declare dependencies, implement facade methods, perform a final code review, and then rebuild and deploy the service. For this next part of the exercise, we'll implement the assignment remote service. So the first step will open up the assignment service impl. And we can find this from the left side over here, navigating into the package down here. We're going to implement the facade methods. The empty class looks something like this. There's a note down here, but there aren't any methods contained in here. So we're going to implement the add and the delete and the get assignments, as well as some of the finders. So I'll copy this from our solutions document, and then I'll walk us through each of the methods. So for our add assignment, we have a method that takes in group ID, title, description, due date, and the service contact. So this is very reminiscent of the one that we have available in our local service. And what we see doing right here is we are returning a call to the assignment local service, and we're passing in the variables over here. Why we would do this in a remote service is that we can add in permission checking and add in validation over here as well. So right here, there's a red underline because this add assignment is not realized as created yet. So we can actually come over here to the modules. We can refresh it so that the add assignment that was created in our local service will be found. And then as you see, after the refresh, the add assignment is found over here. We can create delete assignment for the remote service. What we're doing right here is we're getting the assignment and then we're calling the local service delete. So also passing this in, but through a remote service. Get assignment functions in the same way. We're making a call to the local service and this is why this is a facade. Down here, we have our finders in the remote service. We're also calling the assignment persistence. So right here, we're not calling the local service, but we're calling the persistence instead. But in the following methods for the remote service, when we start passing in other functions, other variables, we will be using the local service over here. So facade methods again, we can go ahead and control S and then it will show us if we have any missing imports after the file refreshes. We'll come up here for source and then we'll click format and this will help us to see our file we can save it. And after doing this, we can double click build service and then this will generate the methods that we just added over here. So now you can start the server if it's not up and running. So we'll actually need to create a new LifeRay workspace here, a new server over here. So we'll click new server, and then we'll click 7x, we'll click next. We'll have to choose a bundle directory, and then this will be in our gradebook workspace. And then we'll select this folder for our bundles, and we'll click finish. We'll right click and click start. It will allow access for Java to run. And as that's deploying, we'll drag in the service and API modules onto the server to deploy the modules. So I'll select both of these API and service, and then we'll drag it over here. And then you'll see that the API service modules are now being deployed into our server.